With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student, here is our question. Let us read it first. Show that the rate of change of momentum is equal to mass into acceleration. Okay, so what we have to show? Rate of change of momentum is equals to mass into acceleration. Under what condition does this relation hold? Okay, so let us first of all uh, try to uh, find this relation. Okay, so what is rate of change of momentum? Okay, so rate of change of momentum means dp by dt. Okay, so dp by dt is equals to mass into acceleration. This we have to prove. So let us take the left hand side. So left hand side is equals to dp by dt. Okay. So then we have the value of p. p. p is what? p is momentum. Okay. And we have the value of momentum is equals to what? It's mass into velocity. Okay. So this is our momentum so uh, this can also be written as that is delta p by delta t okay so uh, this is also the rate of change of momentum now we can put the value of p from this equation okay so it will be like delta p the value of p is uh, it is delta p means p final minus p initial upon delta t means time taken okay so uh, we have the value of p final is its mass into its final velocity minus p initial that is moment initial momentum is what its mass into its initial velocity upon time okay so from here what we can do we can uh, take m as common so it will be uh, what m multiplied by v final minus v initial divided by time okay so here we have this v final minus v initial this is what this is the acceleration okay so here we get m is equals to uh, that is rate of change of momentum it will be equals to what mass into acceleration so this is our required relation here what uh, we get a that is acceleration is equals to v final minus v initial upon time okay so uh, this is the required proof that the rate of change of momentum we have taken LHS and then we have shown that it is equals to what RHS that is right hand side okay so uh, there is one more question under what condition does this relation hold so this relation is hold when uh, I am writing here this relation holds when the mass is constant okay uh, in some cases mass also changes but this relation will hold only when the mass remains constant okay so this is also uh, the statement of Newton's second law Newton's second law. So, this is our required solution. Okay. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.